All right, that's safety three. Let's do some damage control here. Only, once again, only one faint, so that's not actually too bad. And we've got two energy roots I think we should use. Up next is Glacia. All the Pokemon have a fighting type weakness. Once again, hopefully we can just kick our way through. I'm only safety four here. It's Glacia of Elite Four. Is Heraclius in front? I think he is, but I don't actually know. Okay, here yeah, is good. And I think we can just kick our way through everything here. We're running low on kicks and we missed, so that's a real good one-two combo right there. I ha I brought my elixirs for just that reason. So maybe I'll need to use them, but... I, why am I using Blaze Kick? You know what? That's, real, that's a real combo event that just happened. Let's just go ahead and... <laughs> Alright, this time actually use your fighting type move. That's uh, step number one right there. Okay, not quite a one hit KO. That's just about two thirds. Did I bring my X items? Did I bring like an X attack? Cause like one X attack I feel like would be enough to get me through this. I should look into that after we see how this goes. Heraclius, I think, is going to snowball. Heraclius it might end up doing most of the work throughout this whole thing, but honestly, at this point, I'm really just concerned with getting through. We're still speeding everything, which is good. Okay, maybe next attack would help, because this is not going to one-hit KO no matter what we do, and that's going to take us out, probably, maybe. Maybe I should have been using Monier. Because they do have an electric type weakness. I didn't see that before. Because I was reading my thing wrong. How much does Monier do? Because at this point, I don't think we're going to be able to get through the Glalie with, with Heraclius gone. That does like nothing. What? Okay, alright. Yeah, we're having fun here. It sure is a one-hit KO. It was a Slen that made it through this the first time, wasn't it? At this point, this thing's almost dead. We may as well send out, like, Vimnios and hopefully just Psychic it. Hopefully she won't potion up. Oh, I mean, or that can happen, too. Like, ser- like... <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah, sure, that's a sequence of events that can happen. Uh, I mean, I'll take it, honestly. Glalie, what do we even do against this Glalie? Fighting rock, steel, or fire? Can Islan push her way through this? I 
Like if we just hydro pump this, what do we how much do we do? Twenty-three we take and we do nothing because we mess. So yeah, around a little under 25 we're taking consistently. Oh, and we got that going on too, so, you know. I mean, that's not ideal, but as long as we get frozen here. Okay, good. I mean, honestly... Can... Islan... I don't think Islan can make it through the Celio, right? I mean, we only have water type attacks. It is a water type. I think we just... Revival Herb mid-battle. I don't know if we use Monier though correctly, so let's try Monier. And then... We'll use Vivemios as a pivot, since Vivemios is basically dead already. I mean, you're gonna... It's proportional to how much damage you actually do, so you're gonna take literally one hit point of damage there, aren't you? Let's see if Monier was the right call. The thing with this line is, because she takes so little damage, if we... How do we are doing continuous damage to these? We could just send a slant out to tank. But we do, don't we? we we've got, um... <sighs> okay. We've got Yanixeth. I mean, we take this thing out another hit, right? I think we just kind of got to go for it at this point. Come on, hit through, please. What does that even mean, honestly? Okay, well, I think... I think we lost here, but... Yeah, okay. It's smart to I... I'm, is it smart to use double edge when we're low on health? I think for the future, how much does Janik Zeth take? Let's let's find that out here before we do anything too dramatic. Like we'll build a wisp here, build a wisp, but there's no the. Because with that, like let's let's just try it out here. We've taken already so much damage. I don't want to use up so many revival herbs, so we're gonna restart here no matter what. But like, in a fight like this, I think then I can just switch out to a slam, right? And what is this thing gonna do? Take a bit of damage from the hail too. The difference is we can just, um... Recover. Full restores can get rid of the burn, that's... Isn't it? Yes. So that's those four stars are gonna be a problem. How much does Water Pulse actually do? Because we can't hydro pump forever. Yeah, that's that's nothing. That's not nothing. I don't really like 
Yeah, 2 HP back. That Shell Bell is really coming in clutch here. How much does... Okay, that's not even enough for... For... I mean, I think we gotta restart here, but I think that's a viable strategy. You know what? Let's maybe try Monier blasting through... The Celio? The wall rain is really the big issue with that, um... Sheer cold. So, I'm like, if we can... Even maybe just cursing against that might be good. Although, I don't want Islan to get sheer cold. That's gonna be the big problem. How much does Spark do? Half? So it's gonna get hail up, but then we can take it out and just we'll only take the only damage we'll take will be the chip damage. Which honestly I'm fine with. Although I guess how much does one year do against Warren, or do we just get out sped and blast it immediately? Clearly, we will send- I think Heraclius should work here. We couldn't use Heraclius before since I messed up and Heraclius got taken out. Clearly, is the only ice type on our team that isn't also a water type, so it's the only one that doesn't have an electric re weakness, but it means it does have a fire weakness. So close. Like, that's gotta be a range, right? I mean, we take basically nothing. The speed drop is bad, but... Now, she's gotta heal up here, right? I'm gonna double kick anyways. I wanna see how much it does. It does a bit over half, so... I think the blaze kick is a range, like I think if we get it it'll win, but if we never do... Then that means the double kick is effectively just as good as the blaze kick. I don't think any Frozen is actually a big concern with Heraclius, because I think blaze kick thaws you. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I... I'm just gonna wishful thinking say that it's true here. This wall rain. We'll send out Yannick Zeth first. I think the wall rain is a big issue. Yeah. So here we will curse if we don't get sheer colded, or just if this doesn't just take us out. Okay, yeah, curse is better in this circumstance because I can't say for sure that um, uh, will of us will hit. I do know for sure that that will hit though. I think against this Pokemon too, Slen is now effectively our tankiest Pokemon. Slen hasn't really taken any status conditions. Maybe if she had Protect would be more more better than if she had. Um, re recover. How much? I mean, this is more to confuse, but from here on out, we can recover soul. <laughs> like, we're only ever really healing like two from that shell bell, but whatever. As long as she doesn't decide to share cold us, we're kind of set here. Which is admittedly a big F, but... Okay. I think one more ground recover, or maybe not. I don't think the curse will be enough to take it out this time, and we do have enough health that, unless we get crit, 
um, we won't get taken out by another hit. So. There we go, that's the wall rain. Bit of help from Yanixeth, but we made it through. Celio, hopefully we can just blast this again with, um, Munier. I, they always look so sad to me. I don't know if it's just me, but... I guess it's, just, it's like the shine in its eyes. Hopefully it can't move. Okay, that's not ideal, but... Okay. I mean, the big problem with that, I think she has another ball rain, and that'll set up the ball rain. That's not great, but I mean, okay. It, that only means one more chip damage from Hail. If she has another ball rain, that was a mistake on my end. If she has another ball rain, we'll need to recover up, um... Yanixeth, I think, because I think that worked well last time. Okay. That's scary. How much does that do? Like in the hit in, in the hill, does that take us out? Yes. And we're gonna outspeed. Hopefully, I mean, at, at half health, a double kick should take it out, right? Okay, it does. I mean, I'll take the level. And another Glalie. Okay. I don't actually have their Pokemon list in front of me, I've got my personal notes. But hopefully this Blaze Kick just takes it out in one hit. Please. Not quite. Okay, but that... I mean, it's not fine, but... Hopefully that should be enough for us to be able to get through. Double kick in case she heals up, but she doesn't. Alright, that was... Certainly a lot tougher than the last one, but we did make it through. Okay. Put him on save slot 5. Who needs reviving? Munier. And a Yannick Zest. And we probably should energy root up Heracles. Now up next is Drake. I don't even know what we're gonna do against him. Like, it might just be over here, to be honest. Like, 